so you guys know the drill. We got another lithium battery off of AliExpress. And something I noticed from AliExpress batteries is it says Sino US and the from address is the same no matter which distributor I buy it from, whether it's Battery Warehouse or Sino Poly USA, they all seem to come from this guy named Jack Mai, and I'm not sponsored. I'm buying this with my own money, so it's pretty interesting to see that. Oh, this is weird. Check it out, it's a 120 amp hour cell. These are actually the super cheap aluminum cased cells that I've been wanting to test out. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign, you guys. The warranty barcode is scratched out. Check this out. So these might be grade B cells. That is a very bad sign. And you can notice, that look at the color of the casing. This one is a lighter blue than this one. So these might be mismatched. It looks actually used. Look at these terminals. Usually terminals, when they're brand new, they do not look like that. So now we're already finding out why these are so cheap. Yeah, these are totally repackaged and then they just put this label. They slap it on there pretty sloppy. Barcode scratched out again, terminals look horrible. So let's weigh them and figure out the energy density. So a single 384 watt hour cell is 2.91 kilograms. So that's 131 watt hours per kilogram, which is really good. That is much better than a Sino Poly, but it's not as good as the cells that we tested last month. They were aluminum cased cells. But the real test is, will these actually produce that many watt hours? So we need to build a battery. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. They actually come with stainless steel hardware and pure copper bus bars, so that's good. Before we put these bus bars on, let's check the voltage of all of these cells. 3.3, 3.29, that's acceptable. 3.3, 3.29, okay, so the voltage is good. And this battery comes with a lot of bus bars, but look how thin they are. Look at the one that came with the battery earlier this week. It's like three or four times the thickness. So that's not a good sign. And look at the manufacturing tolerances on these washers, you guys. This is cheapest of the cheap right here. But most of the hardware actually looks pretty good. So let's try it out. Actually, I just realized that you can double up the bus bars. So you can use two on each of the terminals. You won't have a spare one like the Calb cells did if you want to parallel or series connect this battery pack with others but it does give you probably enough copper to pull like a 1C, maybe 2C. But yeah, I wouldn't be pushing it much further than that. You probably do not want to over torque these terminals. It just doesn't feel that good. I can say I already prefer the calp cells over these. So now we're charging up the battery at about 25 amps. Now we're at 14.5 so we can do a capacity test. So it actually failed the capacity test, you guys. It's not disconnecting at the inverter. It's the BMS that's disconnecting because one of the cell's voltages is too low. So that means that these cells are not matched. And we only got 116 amp hours. That's pretty close to be fair, but it is not 120 amp hours. So yeah, you get what you pay for. And while I was running this test, I started thinking about why are they at 120 amp hours when if you look up these cells online when they're brand new, you can buy them at 100 amp hour or 150 amp hour capacities. So I did a little bit of math and 120 is 80% of 150. So what I'm thinking is that these are grade B cells that are used and they're down to 80% capacity. So that's why the barcodes are scratched out and they are mismatched. And you can even tell the difference in color. This one's wrapped differently. And that's what they're advertising them at is 120 amp hours. When I figured that out, I was just freaking out because it's just so funny. But I must admit, pulling 116 amp hours of 120 is pretty darn good. It's only four amp hours shy and the voltage is starting to rise. So we could try to turn it back on again. Let's do that. Yeah, I can't turn this thing back on. It is disconnected at the BMS. Let's find out which one it is. So we have three volts, 3.1, that's pretty good. Three and 2.8. So this one dropped below 2.6. This one also has a different packaging and it's the lowest capacity cell. So this is the troublemaker. I bet if they swapped this out with a good cell, this would easily pull 120 amp hours. That's a big bummer. And what's interesting is these do look really nice for being used cells at first, but let's take a closer look at what these cells look like if we take this packaging off. 
because I don't think they look as pretty. The terminals were ugly, but the casing looked pretty, but I think they just changed the stickers on the top to make it look nice. And look how new this cell looks, but you can notice that this is a sticker and this is a cheap plastic wrap. So let's take this all off. So take a look at this, you guys. If you notice that the warranty barcode was scratched off, it extends farther than this sticker. So that means that this sticker was off and this is not a new cell. They scratched it off and then they put this sticker on top so it looks like a brand new cell. You see that? Can you freaking believe it, you guys? Every time we buy a battery on AliExpress, there's always some kind of silly surprise. So I am not impressed by these, but there are aluminum case cells on AliExpress that are high quality, and let me show you. So I have been pretty critical of Lion Energy, but I do like their aluminum case prismatic cells. They also sell them on eBay, and you can buy them on AliExpress. And this is what brand new cells look like. You have a warranty barcode, they look really nice, and when you test them, they will have full capacity for their respected energy density on their data sheet. And the weight of these cells is around like 150 to 160 watt hours per kilogram. The reason that these were so low is because they are at reduced capacity. When these were brand new, they were not 130 watt hours per kilogram. They were probably like 160 watt hours per kilogram with the new manufacturing methods that we have for this kind of design of cell. So you can tell that when you have a brand new cell, it will actually weigh less, it will perform better, you'll have better capacity, and you'll actually have warranty, so you can actually look up the individual cell. When you have it scratched out and a new sticker slapped on there, you're kind of on your own. And also, within the first 2,000 to 5,000 cycles is when you get the reduced capacity to 80%. So it's very important to have brand new cells because we don't know how these were cycled. And these are not matched. Like this one was the lowest capacity cell out of this whole bank. So you just never know how they cycled this one. This might be from a different battery than all these other ones, but they were packaged in the same way. So you have to test these cells before you know if they're any good because you might wind up with one like this. And let's say we use a lower capacity cell in like a 48 volt lithium iron phosphate. That's gonna be 16 cell battery bank. And this will reduce the capacity of the whole battery bank because I have a hunch that these other ones are just fine given their voltage at that low state of charge. But this one is the lowest common denominator and will determine the capacity for the entire bank. So yeah, that's bad. And what's crazy is that even though these are super cheap on AliExpress, you can buy Calb cells for the same price or less. They will weigh more and they will be larger, but you know that you're getting a good cell that will last a long time that's brand new and match. Like these were pulling more than their full capacity. So these are absolutely new cells. And for the energy density that we tested and everything, these are good to go. But a lot of people see these cheap deals on AliExpress and get very excited. But no, these are used grade B cells. These are actually used because for this weight, it should be more capacity. But if you can find these on a really good sale and you test them and they actually have good capacity, you might want to buy them because technically they do work. And I'm sure in the next couple of years, we're going to have lots of used batteries at 80% capacity and you can totally use them. Like I would not buy these if these are available for the same price. But if I could buy these for half the price, I'm totally going to buy these. With lithium iron phosphate, and if I did a good capacity test, I would totally buy these anyways and just make it work. Even though it's used, it doesn't mean it's bad. What I don't like is when people are getting ripped off or it doesn't show that it's a grade B cell or it says that it's new. So that's what I dislike. But what really trips me out is all of these suppliers on AliExpress are coming from that single address or Sino USA. So I feel like all of these batteries, people might think, oh, I'm buying it from this store or this store. I think it's all under one roof, honestly. And I would not be surprised if it's just a single warehouse doing all of the batteries on AliExpress. It's not that hard to do. You can buy these used, um, capacity test them, and then throw them on AliExpress. It's not hard to do at all. And something to be wary of is try to find the data sheet for the battery cell that you wanna buy. If they only sell 150 amp hour and 100 amp hour cells and someone's selling a 120 amp hour, that's a big red flag and everybody can look that up on their own. But overall, after all the testing that we've done this week, I really like these cells. You have big strong terminals, 
huge bus bars, and these things test past their capacity and they're brand new and they're matched. So, I mean, gosh, it, these are a great deal. But what really sucks is when I made my video last week about these cells, they jumped up in price. And then when I made a video not recommending that drop-in solution with the bad BMS design, it went down in price. And it's so funny that when I post a video, you'll see prices drop and rise instantly within a couple days. And I think these are out of stock right now, but I'm gonna have the links up because you'll always be able to find new calp cells. And I still like aluminum case cells. We actually had a pack from Ruxu, and those were really nice. They were 160 watt hours per kilogram, and I really like those ones. I do not like Ruxu, but those battery cells were great, and I still have them over here. And these were the batteries from Ruxu, and these tall cased cells were very lightweight and very powerful. I actually made a video trying to disprove them because the energy density was so far off from the Wikipedia page. But yeah, great cells. Actually, I just realized that I was comparing the prices of a 100 amp hour cell to this one, 120 amp hour cell. So actually, these are still kind of a good deal, but I'm not sure how they were used. I hate used batteries because you just don't know how much they were cycled. Because these could have been cycled only a thousand times in a high heat environment, and the degradation will be capacity loss, and if you, you know, calculate your C rates for your loads and chargers so that it will make this happy at this capacity, this will work for a long time, but I personally prefer having a matched brand new cell, especially if one of these cells is more used than the other ones. You just have no way of telling. Or the ambient temperature was different when one of them was cycled versus the other ones in the pack that they sell you. So yeah, I can't recommend these, but it's pretty interesting and I think we learned a whole lot from testing this. This is really cool stuff. So stay tuned, we have more batteries coming. I know I have like a room full of batteries now, but we're learning so much in every video, so it's really fun to do this. Also, another quick update is in the last video with the drop-in lithium iron phosphate, the Renogy white label clone. Um, I noticed on the advertisement in the picture, it showed the internals and it showed cylindrical cells in a BMS. But as you guys know, we opened it up and it was not that. We had a totally different BMS and we had prismatic cells. So I'm actually opening up a dispute and I'm gonna try to refund it. So if I refund it, I will know that the AliExpress refund actually works. And I actually have proof. I took pictures of the advertisement and also my battery and I said, these are not the same products. So I can't wait to see how they respond to that one. But yeah, lots of new battery news to come and I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching, bye.